Welcome back. Today we're going to look at connecting an application to MemSQL. MemSQL is wire protocol compatible with MySQL, so taking a MySQL app and converting it into a MemSQL app is really easy. Today we created a Helios 8-hour trial previously, and so we're going to log into the portal at portal.memsql.com, open up MemSQL Studio, create a database and a table, insert some sample data into that database, edit the application's connection details, to get at that data store, and then we'll run the application to validate that that works as expected. Let's head over to portal.memsql.com, log in with our username and password, and we'll take a look at our clusters. Here's the demo cluster that we created previously. As we look through the cluster properties, we see here's the launch memsql studio button, and then right under that, here's the admin endpoint and the client endpoint. The admin endpoint is great for creating schema and altering database details. Client endpoint is great for manipulating data, and it won't allow it to change schema. So the client endpoint is the one that we'll want to use as we authenticate our application to MemSQL. Let's pop open MemSQL Studio, log into our cluster, Now, right now, we don't have a database. We could use MySQL dump to create our database, but let's just create it straight away. We'll create a MemSQL app database, use that database, and create a sample table here. Now, with that sample table, let's insert some data. We're going to insert uh, hello MemSQL Helios into that table and we can see that we can pull that data straight back out. We could use MySQL dump to import the entire schema for our application, and then use MySQL dump to also import the data for our application. So let's pull up our application. Here's a node application. You notice we're pulling in the MySQL package. We're not pulling in anything special here. This is really just a MySQL based app. As we launch our application, we're going to pull in that MySQL package, and we'll create a connection for MySQL, that host. Let's go back to the admin portal, and we'll go look for that client endpoint. That's our host. Copy. We'll set that in place. Notice that we've set our user and password to environment variables. We could also set our host to an environment variable if we'd like to as well. This protects them from uh, prying eyes. The database that we used, that's the database we just created. And now in our application, we're going to do a select from that same Hello MemSQL table, and we'll use that to display it on the page. Let's start up our application. We'll look at localhost colon 3000, and we see our application is correctly using MemSQL. We were able to point our MySQL application to MemSQL just by updating the connection details. We used a cluster on MemSQL Helios. We created a database and table there on MemSQL Helios, and we updated our application's connection details. Our application now works just fine, and we can continue using it with MemSQL.